<laughs> Hello everybody, I am Reaper Hunter 23, and this is Dino Crisis 2. Why am I starting with Dino Crisis 2 instead of Dino Crisis 1? I feel like playing this one more. One year has passed since the third energy incident. You don't really need to play Dino Crisis 1 to understand this one all that much anyway, to be honest. I played Dino Crisis 2 before, way before I played Dino Crisis 1, and I got the fuck of this game just fine, it's rather straightforward. Alright, so right there it said that a town research base and military operation got put or sent back in time into the dinosaurs jungle world here and that a piece of that world got sent to our time. Now this covers going back in time with the uh, place there that got sent back to the dinosaur time. May 10th, what about the I'm about to step through a gate into another time. Dinosaur jungle that got brought to our time. I'm being sent in with other that would have been an interesting route to take. Our mission? To rescue 1,300 survivors and collect data on the third energy project. Another thing he mentioned May 10th, 2010 is the date for this mission. Capcom grossly overestimated our ability to time travel. <laughs> Oh, Velociraptors. So, I never look back at the soundtrack of this game as something that I listen to constantly. But whenever I'm playing the game, I, just, I do notice that the music is really good at matching. The song that's playing right here is very frantic. It matches the whole raptor attack thing very nicely. That guy is funny. Everyone else here is decked out in some kind of military outfit. And that dude's wearing a cowboy hat and a shirt and suspenders and stuff. <laughs> Way of welcoming guests, huh? Not exactly the red carpet treatment. Not at all. Hmm. There's no response. I'm. I'm pretty sure my team's all right. Your team just got eaten by raptors. More than a thousand survivors. Let's get moving. Now hold on. What was your name again? Hey. The only person left was the guy in the cowboy hat. The the ivy is wrapped around the door. It won't open. Let's try the door over there. Oh come on. Didn't they teach you how to open a door at Thor training? Here, I'll show you. Watch this. Uh, yeah. That weapon definitely suits a trap. It's a trap. But I prefer to go in this way. See ya, Mr. Barbarian. <laughs> Which means funny. Call me that when you need some help, okay? Unfortunate how our stun gun only really unlocks it for half a second. Anyway, 
Dino Crisis 2. A sequel to Dino Crisis 1 that is rather different from it. Dino Crisis 1 was basically a survival horror game like Resident Evil, but with zombies and dead. Which honestly, I think dinosaurs are way more threatening than the zombies that we had at the time that were just like. Oh, wait. A second ago I said, like Resident Evil, but with zombies instead. But no, with dinosaurs instead. That's what I meant. Now you see, if I saw a zombie slightly shambling towards me, as opposed to a raptor, I think I would be more threatened by the raptor, so... Yeah, I guess that is grounds for a horror game in a way, but this is way more fun. Final Crisis 2. It's like an arcadey shooter. Ow. With some survival elements mixed in. Like, each dinosaur I kill here, I get a... Or, if I kill them in quick succession, they come in combos. You get little bonus points for counters and stuff. I have until, like, the points fade away to kill another one to continue the combo. I swear a little bit. Ow. Anyway, that's where I got. Okay. Pre rendered backgrounds turning me around and stuff. Not cool, man. Actually, pre rendered backgrounds and stuff were relatively commonplace back in this era of like late PS1 games and such. I think this one is one of the best usages of like that. In that, like. The environment is just brought to life so well, in my opinion. This jungle, it, and it provides for some great, like, shots of the camera later, too. This, they did a really good job at bringing the dinosaur era jungle to life. Like, like the, these overhead shots and stuff is something that you would not get today with the third-person action game just following you from behind all the time. The tank controls aren't really all that intrusive to me either. Now I'm pretty sure I went through that room without getting hit, but and normally I think if you get a combo that's so high it will be a bonus for not getting hit, but if you only kill like two dinosaurs and get through without getting hit, then it doesn't matter. Anyone else? Anyway, I played this game a lot as a kid. And, like, every year, year and a half or so that goes by, I get an urge to play this game again. It's one of those that I just really enjoy. Ow. Jerk. Oh yeah, speaking of combos and stuff, raptors and the like come barreling in from off screen to ruin my day all the time. It sucks. I need to just make sure I have something here for a second. Okay. I tried recording this a couple of other times. One time that cutscene we saw with Dylan and Regina with the whole door nonsense. Uh, one time their character models were missing. Which I would have just kept, except that every cutscene like that, that isn't like high res and CG, was like that, so when the dinosaurs just growled at me a minute ago too, they weren't there. So that was a problem that I just couldn't let keep persisting if I was gonna record. So I got rid of it. I should have kept I should have kept that just to like post to Facebook or something, though, that would have been funny. And uh Ow. Oh sweet, I got a counter. And then, the other time I tried recording this, somehow while configuring my controller, I neglected to map a select button, which is the button that takes me to the menu. Hey! Who are you? Are you one of the survivors? I love how, I'm pretty sure he saw him, like, turn to where that ladder was, but he doesn't even bother, like, climbing. He just kind of lets him go. Run away. Come out. We came here to rescue you.
yeah, so somehow I neglected the map of select button, which you know is kind of integral in this game because I need to use my healing items and stuff. You found the dino file. The file contains data collected by the military about the dinosaurs that live in this world. Velociraptor. Meaning, Swift Caesar. Length, 4.8 meters. Height, 1.8 meters. Observation rec records. We originally thought of the dinosaurs were just slow and dumb reptiles. We soon realized that this was not true at all. The Velociraptor proved us all wrong. The claws on each foot is a sharp, is sharp as a blade, providing for a powerful slash, making them killing machine, making them a killing machine. The long hard tail is used as a balance when running in high speeds. However, it is also used as a weapon. Their tail whip is so powerful that it can shatter bones. Combat notes. When and if you encounter them, never show that you're back to them. The moment you start running away, you become prey to them. No soldier has ever come back alive, running away from them. The basic rule of this world is to fight. The raptors are the most prosperous carnivorous dinosaurs in this world. They live different flocks in various areas. Their behavior and endurance are not at all similar, or not all similar, but they have one thing in common. Speed, they are fast. It is best not to use heavy weapons. Also, on the very rare occasions, there have been encounters of blue raptors reported. Their attack and toughness are said to be ultra raptor level. Go hunt them down if you dare to claim yourself as a real hunter. Alright, so what those are, those raptors pop up if you happen to get a combo in a room with raptors that are like a combo that's 20 or more. They also happen to be ludicrous in terms of extinction points, which I don't know if I mentioned yet, but those act as currency. Sorry, I've said like this whole lowdown for how the thing works a couple times, but different takes and stuff really make it annoying to keep track of. And cartridge. We're gonna add 50 to our. Um, yeah, we're gonna add 50 to our supply and buy a few more stuff. Or 10 more stuff, however it's said. Um, oh yeah, and we're gonna save it. Data is broken, data is unusable. Okay. We're gonna. Okay. I'm saving a state right there too. Just in case. Make sure it worked. Yeah, alright. Cool. Anyway. Moving on. I see a, I see a thing. A medical thing. Then you take the rescue pack. Rescue packs are basically like extra lives. They let you restart the room that you were in. Passageway to military facility. Ah! Okay. Ow. Darn it. <laughs> If you just hit R1, usually Dylan will snap like straight to the raptor. That was pretty sweet. That's a little quick in my pack. Oh, you ruined my combo, you jerk. Such, so we're gonna 
Use one of these hands and then that's it. I'm gonna use the one that I already have. Yeah, okay. Anyone else? I have a particular room that's like my favorite to attempt getting combos and stuff in. I heard another one, but I'm not gonna bother. I killed three of them? Alright, this field right here, this is one of those things where I'm saying like the pre rendered backgrounds and stuff are so glorious. Like, it's out of control how nice it is sometimes. Oh, there's one behind me, too. Oh, dodge. Ten. Alright. Oh, you ruined it. Barreling in from off screen to ruin my day. Like, this field right here is so awesome. And like, if I wanted to do that in today's era of like action games, I would have to situate the camera to look at you from the side. Instead of just having it be like that, which, you know. Yeah, it's more convenient. I'm hitting the wrong button. There's, yeah, hemostats stop you from bleeding, which is a very annoying chip damage thing. It will never kill you, but it's still terrible if you start losing a lot of life because you're bleeding. I don't think anything else is going to come out of play. That was fun. Oh yeah. You're really gonna talk smack to the T-Rex, dude? You're out of control. Yeah, don't try and fight this thing. I don't remember what direction to go. Oh yeah, okay, I gotta get to that ladder over there. Oh god. Here we go. There's a medical... Ooh, that thing almost scooped me up. That would've sucked. No, I want the... Give me the... Ooh. Got the large medi pack at least. Before that thing, like, consumed me. Right, here we are. Not only is this guy, Dylan here, dodging these disc things, this dude's insane. He's got a T-Rex on his back and he's managing to dodge these weird helmeted people's discs from point blank range. That's hilarious. Military facility corridor. Alright, now, sometimes I'm pretty sure there are dinosaurs here. I don't know about all the time, but sometimes. Oh, disc. No, I want the disc. Darn you! It's over here. You got the key player. Sweet. Something else that I like that just kind of comes as a product of the era is all the different clickable things that you can have. Like the skeleton here, he must have been attack bonus. There are no signs of resistance. You can like examine the bottles and stuff. I just like these touches. Yeah, they'll have them, like 
tell you what's going on. The flesh has been ripped from the stomach to the belly. It's like a few years have passed since his death. Ugh. Hiccup. Doctor's papers. Time shift. Again, the day has come. January 24th. This is the day when the food energy accident occurred and we were sent to this time. This is the tenth time this day has come. Every time I feel the same despair. Medical supplies from the Medbird has been all used up in the very first year. Since then, we've been collecting wild plants to make medicine without knowing its effect. <laughs> that is not good. Nevertheless, they were used in the healing, in healing the wounds of the soldiers. And all we could do was to wait for the rescue. Why haven't they come to rescue us? I've thought about the question for the past 10 years, and I've come to the conclusion that the time shift or forward it is caused by the overdrive of the third energy. But our current technology level isn't high enough to recover the accident. Years of technology research still would not be enough. A time error of 10 or 20 years is insignificant to a time slip of about 65 million years. But that error that time difference could mean everything for us. We should have never laid our hands on a toy so dangerous. Yeah, so 20 years is like a difference maker when you're living out amongst the dinosaurs. But when it comes to a time machine that calibrates like millions of years, then yeah, I didn't read that at all and put it on the end. General medical books and their patient records are filed here. And if the patient records indicate symptoms never of before.